Simple harmonic waves require a simple harmonic motion to generate them. Uh, different ways of doing it. For example, if I just bob this, uh, well, bob up and down, then I create a rhythmic pattern of waves. And they're fairly sinusoidal, which means they're pretty good sinu waves. All right. There are other ways to do it. I don't have to just bob this. I can swing it as a pendulum. Here's one way to show simple harmonic motion with a pendulum. I can take the pendulum, and as I swing it, it takes, well, I put potential energy into it, and as I let it go, it converts it into kinetic energy, and it goes back and forth, and it's got a certain period. Now, time for each cycle starts, finish, start, okay, is given by the period. So for a pendulum, time it takes for one full cycle, the period is equal to 2 pi, this is kind of an approximation, I'm not really going to get into it, but it's 2 pi times the square root of the length divided by the gravitational acceleration. So you've got this pendulum <laughs> with a certain length. Now notice that the length and the acceleration of gravity, they're the only things that are in this equation. So it doesn't matter what the mass is. I've got these two balls here, hanging taut from the line. And if you look at them, one's made of a very light wood, and one's made of lead. But they're the same length, different masses. And they both have essentially the same period. Because everything falls in a gravitational field at the same rate. So it doesn't matter what the pendulum's made of, it just needs to be a certain length. Now this is called a simple pendulum because we're assuming that pretty much all the weight of the pendulum, all the mass is down here. If it's spread out, that changes the length. So this is easier to calculate. So let's do an example. Uh, the length of this pendulum, we'll do an example and then we'll check it. Uh, we'll use English, let's see. To the center of mass is about 23 inches. I know that's about two significant figures. So I've got an example. I've got a pendulum here. It's got a length, and the length is uh, 23 inches. And gravity, if I'm doing it in English units, gravity, the acceleration of gravity is 32, about 32 feet per second per second, 32 feet per second squared. I'm going to want this in feet. So 23 inches is one foot for every 12 inches. Inches cancel. That's 1.9. I don't really know that's a too significant figure. So 1.9 feet. And I want to know What's the period of the pendulum? The period of the pendulum is 2 pi times the square root of the length over gravity, which is 2 pi times the square root of 1.9 feet over 32 feet per second squared. Now, the feet cancel here. I got feet on top and feet on top. Now I've got 1 over 1 over second squared. That's going to go to second squared. But the square root of that, the square root of second squared, is seconds, which is a great thing. Because that's what I want. I want a time. So let's see if I do this. I get 1.5 seconds for the period. Now we can check that. We'll call this A. B. We'll do an experiment, and we'll count the number of cycles over a certain time. Oops, I got a better end. N is the number of cycles, and T is the time it takes. And we can calculate the frequency and the period, so we'll try that. I just happen to have a stopwatch. I sleep with it. So 
removed. So I'll start this up. And I'll do ten, I'll do ten cycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen point three seconds. So I did. Ten cycles took fifteen point three seconds. I can do two different things. I can say, well, the frequency, you know the frequency is just the inverse of the period, but if you got more than one cycle, it's the number of cycles divided by the time it took to complete them. So that's equal to ten cycles in fifteen point three seconds, which is going to be about 0.667, I think, or 0.67. Oh, 0.65. I guess I have that to three significant figures. 0 0.0.654 net cycles per second. And the period is just the inverse of the frequency. Now I could have just I could have just taken T over N to get the period, but I wanted to get the frequency in there just for a calculation. Which is going to be one over zero point six five four cycles per second which is going to be, flip that over, seconds per cycle, I'll get 1.53 seconds. First calculation, I calculated it would be 1.5 seconds, I actually measured it, 1.53 seconds. So pretty good agreement. So that's the period of a pendulum, simple harmonic motion.